Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris Omi, and again we are back here with another first look at a game. This time, Winter Resort Simulator. Um, there's quite a few of these types of games out on the market. I'm never fully sort of convinced that they're the best games out there. There's one or two that sort of stand out from the crowd, and then a lot that really seem to be low effort kind of uh, offerings out there. So hopefully this is a former, not a latter. Um, there is apparently a six square kilometer map. There's a village. There are a bunch of different things you can do. Um, a lot of work's been put in, three patches, multiple languages. So this comes from HR Innerways. Mostly positive on Steam, 77% right there, and it's $29.99, so a decent price point, a pretty decent price point indeed. So, yeah, you kind of uh, manage a resort, and you can build stuff and change things, and there's modding capabilities, and you can either look and watch or play and do a bunch of different stuff, so... It looks interesting. It does look interesting. Let's jump into the settings first. An absolute ton of graphic settings, which is what I really do like to see. That means you can play it on a wide variety of machines. Uh, not got an issue with that. Gameplay. Bunch of fun stuff here. Okay. Rebindable controls, always a very good thing. You can see the amount of stuff we've got there that we can do. Joystick controls, they are, look, you can see the mouse axis is working quite well. And then the scroll wheel. Nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> Only thing under system is choose your language. I believe there's like five different languages. And there's just a master volume. Okay. Let's see what that does then. But yeah, like I say, three different uh, patches so far. Oh, see, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, see, I, I like that kind of thing where they've got the physics. You can... Really look at all the models. Okay. Uh, we're going to dive into a scenario. And just see how it all works out. I think. So this is a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, let's dive in. So I'm expecting it to look really nice. From what I've seen in screenshots... It should look really, really nice. Uh, apart from that, I think it's going to control fairly well. The uh, The vehicles are going to be fun to ride, but not sure on vehicle physics with these kind of games. Usually that's much more a miss than a hit. Um, but the overall feel of the game is normally pretty good. So, yeah. We're going to feed the Crystal Express walk into the command room which I guess is this open the door excellent switch on the light well that did pretty much nothing switch on the system system on and off okay touch screen parking see I can't really see this there we go so you can zoom in I thought clicking on it might take you into it But apparently we can just zoom in. Parking off. Click the close button in the top right corner. Oh, 
Okay. Interesting. So, trying cable detachable gondolas generally differ from other mono cables. Parking's a bit different as well. Everything runs automatically. Okay, so that's pretty good then. Okay. That makes life easier, which is what I'm about. Turn on the platform light. Is that going to be under lights? No, it's not. It's going to be over here. There's the platform light. Okay. Turn on the parking hall light. I don't know where that is, but okay. Turn on the entrance light. I'm going to start parking. Where is that? Oh, it's down here. Okay. So more of the controls to on. I do like that you can zoom in. Okay, I have to drag that one across. I'm going to reset. Then these are going to start moving in a minute. Wow, there's a lot of room in these. Holy heck, that's like 20 people per carriage. Or maybe more? 22 people. Okay, put the system in operation. It's not here. Okay, where's my indicator gone? Tell me where. I got a feeling it's back in there somewhere, but it doesn't really tell me. Is it somewhere on here? No. Four point two meters that way. Ah, it's you. I didn't see this light up. Reset. It starts. Okay, it was not automatically moved. Okay. they go and there indeed do they go oh see that's kind of cool that to me is kind of cool Okay, switch on the station bridge. Start the inspection. Okay. Open maintenance gate, we can do that. I say we can do that, but having some problems. The most important assemblies. the wrong way. <laughs> okay, as you can see, 
until they're lifted. There they are. Put on there, lifted, turned, and dropped in there. See? So that all seems to be working fine. Covering to the left for the first. Target. It's basic. So, I guess we can set all that up manually where we can say, you know, it goes ever so often, uh, or the next carriage only when this one hits a certain point. So, that's pretty cool. You hear the power, the winches to turn stuff, and the whole sort of get into Google. Ooh. There we go. A little bit noisy, but okay. Take a look at the tensioning. Yeah, that's going to be important as well. Like, did it really allow me to, like, walk on that for a second? I, I felt like it did. Oh, really? I walked through the gates, but it's going to, like, push me back the other side. Interesting. Open the maintenance gate. Just tensioning. Okay. Tensioning bull wheel. Back up. I think it's back up. Uh, need to skid. Okay. Interesting. It's nice to see all these 10 meters above the ground. Yeah, it's pretty high, really, is what they're trying to say. Return to the platform. I thought that I covered those, but apparently not. Okay, so we can get under that way as well. See all this stuff down this side as well. Nice! Okay. Open the maintenance gate. Close the maintenance gate. to the platform. There it goes. It's going to start the power down. See the moon up there in the sky. Time to enable passenger mode. Stop parking.
shotgun no parking control. Switch off the parking hall light. Switch off the station light. We're just gonna switch off all lights. Let's go back into parking. Stop the feed. So it said enable passenger mode, but it looks like we uh shut everything down. Let's call the operator. Where's the operator? On the phone. Other station. So we're gonna log in. Enable passenger mode. Oop. Controls are a little bit, a little bit more fluid than I'd want. Set the barrier tip. Okay. It's time to start the rope. A little bit of lag there. Uh, so did that tape disappear by us flicking a switch? Is that what happened? Okay. Yeah. That does look like what happened. Okay. Here we go. We're going to reset. And it's start. set up okay so we can turn down the speed as well go guess no load enter the entrance I successfully fed it. Really, because we turned off a bunch of stuff. We turn off all the garage stuff, turn off a bunch of lights. I mean, does that not matter? Maybe it doesn't. interesting okay so without getting too deep into the game and like building stuff and like really setting stuff up okay there are other things you can check here in the menu uh, but only in career mode but yeah what we've done is a little tutorial on the game uh, sounds okay looks okay the feel of the game is quite nice. I, I enjoy the way things are set up. Controls are okay, a little bit fiddly at times, but they normally are with these sort of genre games where you need to get uh, adjusted to how the game works and the vehicles. But I quite like this. I do quite like this. I think it's got a lot of promise to it. I am a fan of these kind of games where we can sort of ride on stuff as well as build it and maintain it and yeah. I think we'll have to do an updated one of this when I've played a bit more and seen a little bit more about the game. Um, just to see how it, the gameplay aspect of it is because at the moment there's uh, not a whole lot of that. but. Interesting. Very interesting. Not something I would have thought I would have wanted to play a lot of, but even a small amount is enough to get me interested in a game like this usually. But 
Like I say, it looks pretty, you know, pretty good. It handles fairly well. Um, there's a lot of complex stuff, which does suit a lot of people. But it's easy enough to pick up and learn as you go, which suits other people more like myself. But, um, yeah. Is, uh, kind of interesting. It is kind of interesting. So I guess the other operator would be in there. Now, it doesn't look like there are any passengers or anything, so. Well, apparently we can just, like, run in and out of the place. So this would be this guy over here interesting interesting so this is the feed I like that sound as well Look at those visuals. Absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. It does say six kilometers, so I'm not sure kind of uh, how much of that is really there. Uh, see, now, now I'm walking on, on the floor. I shouldn't be hearing that that noise there we go so it's only when we get really close does it go away yeah we shouldn't be hearing that have a little exploring then another interior looks like this is uh more for maintenance side of things okay again pretty decent I can see that there's a lot of scope to this game and I think you can probably take on as much or as little as you really want to. I'm gonna check out this big board then check out the lodge. So there's Palestine. Okay. So A is where we are. That's the line up there. That's the uh, Crystal Express. So B is the Dorf Bomb, C looks to be the uh, Falcon, Ekborn, the Sonnenborn is D, and E that is the Stobenborn. And there we can see Crystal Express is going. None of the slopes are open, but you can get to the top of the mountain via the Crystal Express. Okay. Yeah, I see how it all works there. I don't know. I quite like that. Like I say, there is depth to the game. There is some depth to the game. And I guess we can't go in here, but you can buy teas and coffees, maybe. Aha. Nice. Nice. What's down here? It's another garage. Some sort of... Ooh, a lake. I don't think I can go in the lake, and I don't think it would be a good idea to. But yeah, overall... I can see the appeal of this game. So, I think I might go away, do a few more of those tutorials when time allows. 
and then try and put something together, try and actually like get into the actual main part of the game and come back with an actual review. But first look, first impressions, sounds are okay, they're not bad, they're kind of what you'd expect. The visuals look pretty good to me, again not amazing but you know they do exactly what you need them to do. Um, gameplay, from what little I've seen, there's a lot to it, so you can enjoy that. And yeah, really, really impressed basically from the little I've seen. So, this is with the resort simulator. As I can see, you can see there's a lot to do in the uh, in the main part of the game. We're going to jump out back to the main menu. And just give our thoughts. It's, um, like I say, a pretty good game all in all. I can see why it's popular on Steam right now. It is $29.99. I would probably wait for a sale before diving in. There was just one for the winter sale, of course. But, um, yeah. I would look... I would look for a sale if possible so yeah I, I hope there's enough to the game um to just for that kind of price tag i hope there's enough replayability and depth and levels and challenges and missions and that kind of thing the uh there are supposed to be a few bugs in the game that hopefully will get fixed fairly soon but yeah Overall, from what I've seen, it looks pretty good. So hopefully, that will all uh, all get fixed in some of the uh, patches as we go. As I say, it's already had three patches, so not too bad at all. These kind of games are always very hit and miss. I'm not sure which this is. Graphically, looks good, though. You can see work has been put into the game. But how much substance is behind it? We'll find out and come back with a full review. Uh, but yeah, I'd advise people to go check this out. Like I say, it's from Aerosoft GmbH, the uh, publisher. And it is from HR Inoways. $29.99 on Steam right now. Winter Resort Simulator. Thanks very much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you next time. Till then. Y'all take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon.